Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is Alan Burgos from the Hashtag Walk With Land channel. Welcome and welcome back to our channel. All right. Uh, okay, so tonight, um, we would like... Uh, one day, one trader. Okay, we just want, uh, we just like to honor our subscribers. They are um, almost 3,860. So more or less, uh, uh, road to 4,000, 4,000 subscribers. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for all the support. And uh, thank you very much for all um subscription and uh, and to all those supporters, subscribers, viewers, thank you very much. So today we will be continuing our our discussion with regards to Republic Act 10173, which is the Data Privacy Act of 2012. Okay, so we are now on chapter nine, which is the miscellaneous provisions. Section 38 says interpretation. Any doubt in the interpretation of any provision of this act shall be liberally interpreted in a manner mindful of the rights and interests of, ind of the individuals about whom personal information is processed. If you are doubtful, we will always think of the rights of those individuals and, of course, the interests no, of those people whom we process the personal information. Okay, section 39, it says here, implementing rules and regulations. So within 90 days from the effectivity of this act, the commission shall promulgate the rules and regulations to effectively implement the provisions of this act. That's why the National Privacy Commission okay, developed and promulgated the rules and regulations Okay, effectively implement the provisions of this act. So, meaning to say, they they publish the IRR already. No, uh, in the next few, uh, in the next few days or weeks, we will be discussing also the IRR of the uh, Cybercrime um, Prevention Act of 2012, and of course the DICT law, and of course this one, the IRR of the Data Privacy Act of 2012. Section 40, uh, reports and information. The commission shall annually report to the president and Congress on its activities in carrying out the provisions of this act. Because in the past, in the past, the National Privacy Commission is under the office of the president. And uh, when, when, when the DICT law was, uh, was signed by the president, Okay, this particular office will be attached to the to the DICT. No? But uh, I don't know if if this will be it, it should be repealed, no, be repealed or modified before this section will be changed also. No? So I understand they will continuously report to the president of the Philippines. So they are doing this annually. The commission shall undertake whatever its efforts it may determine to be necessary or appropriate to inform and educate the public of the data privacy, data protection, and fair information rights and responsibilities. So this is their mandate wherein they will train the public or educate the public about the data privacy, the data protection, and of course the fair information rights. As what I have said in the previous lectures or discussions, that it is guaranteed in the Constitution that that individually it is our basic right for data privacy to be protected. Section 41, Appropriations Clause. The Commission shall be provided with an initial appropriation of 20 million pesos. This was the initial fund of the commission to be drawn from the national government 
appropriations for the succeeding years shall be included in the General Appropriations Act. It shall likewise receive 10 million pesos per year for five years upon um, implementation of this act drawn from the national government. So it's only 10 million pesos. Anyway, transitory provision, existing industries, businesses, and offices affected by the implementation of this act shall be given one year transitory period from the effectivity of the IRR or such other period as may be determined by the Commission to comply with the requirements of this Act. In case the DICT has not yet been created by the time the law takes full force in effect, the National Privacy Commission shall be attached to the office of the President. That's why now. But, but when they, they formulated this one, uh, when they formulated this one, um, ano na, um, the... the, the the Senate uh, members, no, the senators and the congressmen and women, uh, were thinking of this na, no, that uh, it should have a DICT. That's why it, it says here, in case the DICT has not yet been created, because at that time they were thinking na, no, the, it, uh, they were processing the DICT law. That's why, no, um, when when they pass this one, the DICT law has not yet passed. Okay, has not yet been signed. That's why it was under the office of the president. But now it has been attached to the DICT. No? Separability clause. If any provision or part heroof is here held invalid or unconstitutional, the remainder of the law or the provision not otherwise affected shall remain valid and subsisting. So it means to say if the um, So it means to say, if the uh, if one of the clauses or one of the clauses or one of the sections will be uh, declared by the Supreme Court as uncons as can unconstitutional, yun lang yung affected, not uh, hindi yung everything has will be affected isa lang, okay? Yun yun. All right. Now section forty four. Repealing clause. The provision of Section 7 of Republic Act 9372, other known as Human Security Act of 2007, is hereby, hereby amended. So that particular section of, of that particular RA, which is uh, also known as Human Security Act of 2007, will be amended. No, Except as otherwise expressly provided in this Act, all other laws, decrees, executive orders, proclamations, and administrative regulations or parts thereof inconsistent herewith are hereby repealed or modified accordingly. Section 45, Effectivity Clause. This act shall take effect 15 days after its publication in at least two national newspapers of general circulation. When we say General circulation, ito yung mga broadband. No? For example, Philippine Daily Inquirer, Philippine Star, uh, what else? Um, uh, yeah, Manila Bulletin, etc. No? Inquirer also. Did I mention Inquirer? Yes. No? Okay, this was approved by Feliciano Belmonte Jr. That was, uh, he was the Speaker of the House of Representatives. No? Uh, this act was consolidation of Senate Bill and House Bill Senate Bill 2965 and House Bill 4115 okay, uh, was passed by Senate and the House of Representatives on June 6, 2012. Meaning to say, they have uh, the third Congress, no, which is the, uh, ano tawag doon? Um, um, uh, parang bicam, no? bicameral committee. No? So kasi may combination yan. When, they, when, when, when the Congress passed the law, the Senate passed the law, Okay, I pass the bill, the two bills, no, separately, and then they will be meeting uh, together, no. Merong representative ang ang Senate, may representative ang ang House of Representatives. They will meet. That's why minsan sinasabi ito na third house of Congress. Okay, and after that they will consolidate. Kaya nga ito, this act, which is a consolidation, no. Consolidation, yeah. ano yan, willing and dealing yan, no? 
All right? So after that, no, uh, pupunta sa plenary na yan. No? Ay, then, no, no, so tapos na pala sa plenary ng Senate, the plenary ng Congress. No? So and then after that, i-consolidate na yan. Okay? So mangyayari yung ano na yan. All right? So this was uh, this was passed no with the leadership of Feliciano Belmonte Jr. Speaker of the House of Representatives okay naging mayor yan ng Quezon City uh, tatay yan ng mayor ng Quezon City right now okay uh, buhay pa po yan no si uh, Feliciano Belmonte Jr. wala na pong position yan sa government no kasi medyo matanda na rin no and then uh, it was signed also by Juan Ponce Enrile medyo natatawa po ako po kasi itong parehas na to is long ano po sila eh medyo matanda na po sila pero talagang malakas pa po uh, one point in really 99 years old na yan uh, 99 or 98 years old all right okay and then uh yan one point in really and then of course uh ito yung um secretaries no uh, ng house of representatives at saka uh, secretary ng senate also It was approved August 15, 2012. Okay, Binigdo as Aquino President of the Philippines. So medyo kaumpisa pa lang yan nung, nung pinasa. Alright? Sige, that's it for today. We are done with the Republic Act 10173. Uh, and then, um, which is the Data Privacy Act of 2012. I hope you learned a lot no, with our series. Uh, in the next few days or months, We will be tackling the details, no? The details of this, and then we will try to uh, invite other data privacy practitioners, no? And experts, and of course, enthusiasts, uh, data privacy enthusiasts, something like that. Okay. So that's it for today. Again, this is Alan Burgos from the hashtag Walk with Land channel. I hope you enjoyed a lot, and uh, I hope and I pray that you are blessed today because uh, so that you can be able to bless others thank you very much po bye bye po